Pat, you're a franchisor. Tell me a little bit about what franchise you have. The franchise that I have is for a high quality, uh, top quality uh, range of greeting cards. Uh, we also have uh, support of children's party wear, such as um, candles for birthday parties and balloons and all that. The model that I actually brought in um, was an established model in Europe and in some parts of America. The companies have been operating for 21 years. However, the manual that I actually have um, for to describe the product uh, read very well. But the difference between bringing it from reading it, understanding it, to applying it is totally different. And when a franchise actually, you know, extracts the money from you for the franchise, the objective would be for the franchise to actually fast track the business potential. But unfortunately, you make all the mistakes, you actually create all the issues and difficulties for yourself, and they don't ever seem to cross over the best practices from one country to the next. And I believe that that's something that should be very much a hands-on situation where you're purchasing a franchise at the earlier stages and then from that perspective actually realizing that that's the reason why you buy a franchise because all the mistakes have been made in the past as against allowing you to make the mistakes yourself and then actually when you actually go back and say this is the best practice they are willing to take that practice but in the context of where I'm coming from that has been an expensive exercise for me a one that I did not anticipate that I would have to make